Hey guys, Unoriginic here with a new Zelda theory. Now for ages I've been trying to follow up on the very first video that I ever made here on YouTube about the Zelda maps, which all seem to fit together with the same scale as long as you take for granted that the poles might have shifted a little bit, and that the same name is assigned to new areas at different points in the timeline, like Lake Hylia for example. With that in mind, I've been looking at the map for Breath of the Wild for almost two years now, and I'm still almost completely lost. Or at least I was up until quite recently. I think that the best way to approach this topic is with a few videos, so this first one is going to focus on how Breath of the Wild actually syncs up with the map from Ocarina of Time in a really nice way. Don't believe me? <laughs> well, I can see why. When most people think of matching up the maps, they do this, so that Death Mountain and the lakes overlay, and it's almost satisfactory. Except for Gerudo Desert being replaced with the Tabantha and Hebra regions, which really doesn't make sense. Another popular reason why the, the majority would go with this model is because of Lon Lon Ranch lining up with this easter egg location. I admit it's nice to think that, but I mean check it out, this game is meant to be 10,000 years ahead of the other games. You're telling me that these timbers have weathered the harsh and constant rains of Hyrule Field, not to mention two calamities and are still standing? There is no way. The maps actually do align this way when taking the Ocarina of Time map and turning it almost 180 degrees and then laying it mostly over the Great Plateau. I know it sounds crazy, but the more time I spent looking at this model, the more it started to make sense. Let me explain to you what I found. I started where Breath of the Wild does, overlaying the Temple of Time from Ocarina of Time over the Breath of the Wild. Temple of Time, I've said Temple of Time too many times. I'll say this now though, because I'm sure this is the first thing people are going to notice and pick apart. Annoyingly, the temple does not line up 100%. In Breath of the Wild, it's turned 90 degrees towards the new north, and in Ocarina of Time, it would be facing more this way. But aside from that, it actually has a mountain sitting behind it, just like in Ocarina of Time. In Ocarina of Time, that mountain is called Death Mountain, but 10,000 years later, the mountain that we find behind it is known as Mount Hylia. On the overlaid maps, they also seem to line up nicely as well, showing that it's a similar distance away. The mountain doesn't have the same shape, however. Perhaps when it went dormant, there was some massive eruption that changed its landscape, or whatever took out a chunk out of the Hebra Mountains also collided with the former Death Mountain here as well. If you look at the hole in Hebra Mountain and this weird sort of concave area and what I'm calling Death Mountain, they do seem to line up. It could have been a test shot from one of the Divine Beasts or something like that from 10,000 years ago. Meadow sights are now set. If we travel down the trail from Death Mountain, we come to Kakariko Village. Or at least this was Kakariko Village. The Windmill, Graveyard and Shadow Temple have all disappeared in Breath of the Wild. Or perhaps the Shadow Temple was converted into the Resurrection Shrine, and also the subsequent shrine beneath where you get the Master Cycle. Adjacent to this is Zora's Domain, which lines up with the River of the Dead. The River of the Dead was actually one of the first things that pointed me towards this lining up with Ocarina of Time's map. When I heard the River of the Dead, I thought of Kakariko Village and the Graveyard, and I thought it would have linked up quite nicely here. But seeing the Zora's Domain link up over top actually seems to match this a lot better, especially if the Zoras never thawed out after Ocarina of Time and then subsequently moved to a new domain north of here, and then the river became known as the River of the Dead. Lake Hylia, the original Lake Hylia, overlays Lake Colomo, which is just north of the Great Plateau. This also matches up nicely with the Lost Woods sitting over top of the Forest of Spirits up on the plateau itself. Now for the weird bits. The Gerudo Canyon is now located over the eastern post ruins, and the waste sits over top of parts of the new Lake Hylia from Breath of the Wild, and then the Desert Colossus would sit against the foothills of the Dueling Peak mountain range. I know that this looks like the end of my theory, but there is a gentleman, either near the Gerudo stable or the Farron stable, I don't really remember which. But he talks about how the Dueling Peaks were once a single mountain, until a dragon split them in two.
At first I thought the Dueling Peaks may have been the original Death Mountain when I was looking at a smaller scale to fit the Ocarina of Time map into, and potentially it could still be the Death Mountain from Twilight Princess. I will come back and, and look at this with a little bit more detail when I do that episode. But what's interesting with this is that with this new mountain range split, a new river was able to pour through into this region, potentially filling the canyon, turning it into a river. This would have then filled up the lowlands in the Gerudo Wastes, turning it into a lake, the new Lake Hylia, and irrigating the land to turn it into a lush environment. With the more coveted land, the old Hyrule Kingdom may have felt the need to push forward and expand their borders, creating the need to build the eastern post ruins as the bastion for their front into the Gerudo lands. I know that this idea sounds a little bit far-fetched, but just take a look at the Lenaru province from Skyward Sword. At one point in time, the Lenaru province was an arid desert, and you can see that even in that game, Skyward Sword, it was once an ocean. So it's not unthinkable to believe that over 10,000 years and with the addition of a river, that this whole area could be terraformed to this. So that brings me to the end of the locations that all seem to match up. There's not a lot else to say with everything else, but I will just say that the other weird thing, aside from the orientation of the Temple of Time, would be the plateau itself. It splits Hyrule Field straight through the middle, and it seems to have a fortification making a portion of it rather than being natural rock. So this could have been divine intervention in the first part with the goddess Hylia who is now at worship in the Temple of Time. She may have elevated the ground around the castle to protect it from the first calamity, uh, as, you know, the same way she rose Skyloft into the sky in Skyward Sword. I said sky too many times just then. Who really knows? But one thing is for sure, the more I look at it, the more I wonder if these features were meant to match up to the original map in some sort of way. You know, just to give us fans something, something more to look for in this great land of Hyrule and Breath of the Wild. For those of you who want to argue my scale, I, I did go out and find a few other maps that other people had made that seem to use Link, adult Link at least, uh, as a scale and assuming he's six foot tall. So Ocarina of Time in this is on the right, Breath of the Wild is on the left, and for some reason Skyrim's in there just to kind of show off how big Breath of the Wild is, which is fantastic. But anyway, that's the end of part one of this uh, look into the the map of Breath of the Wild. I have a few other ideas, as I said, I want to do Twilight Princess. It gets difficult because my Wii U was stolen, so <laughs> uh, until they make a port of Twilight Princess, I don't expect I'll have a lot of subject matter to explore with. Um, it'll just be me poking around with maps, which isn't very exciting. Uh, so stay tuned, something like that may, may come in the future. But yeah, that's been me, I'm an Originic. Uh, check out the original video I did if you want to see some cringe from two years ago. Uh, I'll leave the link here. And um, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you very much. Have a good one.